let us pray. Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In Troyes and Propers for Passion Sunday, fifth Sunday of Lent. Give sentence with me, O God, and defend my cause against the ungodly people. O deliver me from the deceitful and wicked man, for thou art the God of my strength. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon the whole church, and so rule the heart of thy chosen servant, Elizabeth, our queen and governor, that she, knowing whose minister she is, may above all things seek thy honour and glory, and that we and all her subjects duly considering whose authority she hath, may faithfully serve, honour and humbly obey her in thee and for thee, according to thy blessed word and ordinance, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. We beseech the Almighty God mercifully to look upon thy people, that by thy great, great goodness they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Epistle to the Hebrews. Brethren, Christ, being come an high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and of the ashes of an heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who, through the eternal Spirit, offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Here endeth the epistle. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. Teach me to do the thing that pleaseth thee. It is thou, Lord, that deliverest me from my cruel enemies and settest me up above mine adversaries. Thou shalt rid me from the wicked man. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said unto the multitude of the Jews, Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honour my father, and ye do dishonour me. 
and I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, If a man keep my saying, he shall never taste death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets which are dead? Whom makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honour myself, my honour is nothing. It is my father that honoureth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him. But I know him, and if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him, and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then they took up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <coughs> I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. O do well unto thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. Quicken thou me, O Lord, according to thy word. Blessed art thou, Lord God of all creation, of thy goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. By the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed art thou, Lord God of all creation, of thy goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of our salvation. Blessed be God forever. Wash me from my sins and cleanse me from my iniquities, that in innocency I may go round thy altar, O Lord. bring our prayers and petitions for the church and for the world before God's throne in this passion tide we remember very particularly our Lord's entry into his passion and we pray especially for those who are suffering at the moment throughout the world all the 
global uncertainty as it continues with the pandemic. We pray for relief to pain and suffering and anxiety. Mighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity and concord, and grant that all they that do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also to save and defend all Christian kings, princes and governors, and specially thy servant, Elizabeth, our Queen, that under her we may be godly and quietly governed. And grant unto her whole council and all that are put in authority under her, that they may truly and indifferently minister justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, by both their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. We pray for Sarah, our bishop, and Robert, our area bishop. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech you of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succour all them who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear beseeching thee to give us grace so to follow their good examples that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbours and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed, against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honour and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, firm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table. Thou art the same, Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, 
and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Saviour Christ saith unto all that truly turn to him. Come unto me, all that travel and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St Paul saith. This is a true saying, and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St John saith. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. And so with spirit. Lift up your hearts. We give them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, our Lord. And now we give thee thanks because... For our salvation he was obedient even unto death on the cross. The tree of shame was made the tree of glory, and where life was lost, their life hath been restored. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, he made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Here, our so merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we, receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after su supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, having in remembrance the blessed passion, mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of thy dear Son, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we, thy humble servants, entirely desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy and lively sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. 
and although we be unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offences, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honour and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Let us pray, as our Saviour Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. God, you are Lord Jesus Christ, which was given to thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take it in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. Out of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee, and be thankful. Amen. Let us pray. In union, O Lord, with the faithful at every altar of thy church where the Holy Eucharist is now being celebrated, I desire to offer thee praise and thanksgiving. I present to thee my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may always be united to thee, and since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, I beseech thee to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to thee and embrace thee with all the affections of my soul. Let nothing ever separate thee from me. May I live and die in thy love. Amen. Let us pray. Assist us, O Lord our God, that we whom thou hast here refreshed with thy mysteries may be defended by thy perpetual succour. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me very good to know you're there um, just a word about the week ahead um, very good news the church has been having its heating repaired or a whole new boiler installed and ahead of schedule a few days ahead of schedule 
the new boiler is is working and um, the radiators have been cleared and the church is really very nice and warm again having had a 10 days with no heating um, so that's good news there's a, a slight snag and that is that on Monday uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week the there won't be the usual daily Eucharist in church because um, we have a, a film company in they kept changing the dates but anyway it's now they're not filming actually in the church they're filming on the canal um, but they're using the church as a base for quite a large crew um, so we we don't really have the use of the church on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, but there will be a Eucharist on Monday at 8 30 and on Thursday at 6 o'clock uh, and on Friday at 8 30 um, and they'll all be in church um, and then we're into Holy Week this time next week um, there'll be an eight o'clock on Zoom like this uh, next Sunday and then the Palm Sunday service uh, will start in the garden at 10.30 and then there are Eucharist every day Monday, Tuesday 8.30, Wednesday 12 noon, Maundy Thursday at 7.30 and Good Friday a range of services including the, the liturgy of the day at 1.30 and then on Easter Eve we have the Bishop coming to join us for confirmation which is very nice indeed, Bishop Rob. And then on Easter Day, um, a Eucharist at eight o'clock like this by Zoom. And then uh, Sunday, uh, the, then at 10.30, the main Eucharist of Easter Day. So the next two Sundays, Palm Sunday and Easter Day, we'll have um, Zoom eight o'clock. And thereafter, that will be the last Zoom eight o'clock because I think um, we're back in church Normally, I'll make sure um, they are on YouTube. I, it's very difficult to do Zoom in the church, or at least I haven't perfected the art. Um, so I'm sorry we won't be quite so interactive, but please do join us via YouTube um, after Easter. So I'll keep you updated with the weekly email. Um, but it continues to be a great joy that you know, friends from across the waters um, with us, Franca and Bogdana, thank you for joining us. Um, and hope everybody is otherwise well. And um, I know we're all longing for slightly warmer spring weather. It's rather chilly here. I'm sure it's lovely and sunny in Naples at the moment with probably orange. It's windy. Windy, oh, really? Yes, oh, oh, very windy. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's pretty cold here, but uh, it's. It, um, there are signs of spring, which is nice, especially as today is the first day of spring. And today we have uh, later, and it'll be on YouTube, uh, Bayleaf is coming to join us, our favourite donkey for the um, children's passion play, which we traditionally have on Passion Sunday. Um, just hope everybody's well. Oh, good to see uh, um, Anna and Colin. Are you uh, still in London? We are. Oh, but, right. um, I hope your work's the end is in sight, as they say. <laughs> uh, we actually will be around next.